Elite Golden Eagle Alto Saxophone Audition. So, uh, one of the things when you're practicing a solo is you always want to practice with a metronome. So, um, this is the Tonal Energy app, but there are other metronomes, metronomes, metronomes that you can use. Uh, there's free ones on phones and computers. There's also one on smart music. But I always suggest that you practice with a metronome so you understand re the relationship between the rhythms and the tempo. So I'm going to practice. This is moderato. Moderato, in my opinion, can be anywhere between 80 to about 120. So this is 80, uh, and we are in 2-4. This would be a slow moderato, but then it can go up to so I would say about any of that, anything in between that is moderato. Now we're going to go on the slower end and then at the end of, of our practice session I will play it faster. So we're going to start with 80 beats, that's what the slower end is, 80 beats per minute. Okay, and I'm going to just let that go when we're practicing so that you can hear it and I can hear it and we're, we're being held accountable for our tempo. So we're going to go line by line and practice this. And one of the things I like to do is first talk about the rhythms that are going on. You have a pick up eighth note and then you've got some dotted quarter notes followed by sixteenth notes. So if I was going to count just the first line, it would be counted like this, and I'm going to just snap nice and slow, and one, and a one, two, and one, and a one, two, and one, and a one, and a two, and a one. So that would be the rhythm. I started singing the actual pitches, but um, you've got the rhythm. Now the notes. All of these notes are notes that if you've worked on your scales, you should know. Looking at our key signature, everything is natural, which means that our Fs are going to be three fingers and first finger on the bottom hand with the register key. So let's go ahead and try playing this. Uh, I'm going to do my best to play as accurate as possible to help you out, and that includes the dynamics and the articulation. So as you're working on this, first focus on the rhythm and the notes. And then once you become steady with that, you can focus on the other things. One, two, one, two, one, two. So at this one, tempo, two, and one, two, and a one, two, and one, two, and a one, two, and one, two, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, and a one, two, 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 one, two. rhythm, that's the notes, and you can tell I was playing the staccato, I was playing quite loud, and getting a little softer at the end. Now, the next line, the rhythm, if I was to count it at a slower tempo, I was snapping, and two, and two, and two, and two, and two, one, two, and one, and one, and, and, and then that'd be the next line. So it's a lot of starting on the and of the first beat. So when you're thinking about that, you have to anticipate the one so that you come off and play on the and of one. So when you're clapping, it'd be the open, right? And two, and two, and two, okay? So with the metronome, one, a little two, faster. One, two, one, and two, two one, and two. two. One two one and two one and two one two here we go let's one two one two one two one two one two one two 
technically as the the first one the first line but you have to make sure that you're really waiting for those and two and two and two and two and then when you go up to the high note although it is forte not getting like crazy loud and, and bright and yucky sounding all right the third line this one has some craziness to it so the third line has 16th notes there's lots of high notes, and at the very last measure of this third line is a triplet 16. We haven't really had a chance to go over triplets, but I'll explain it in this little lesson. So, counting through the, the, the rhythms, I'm going to go nice and slow. One E and a two, and one, and, and one E and a two, and one, and two, and one, and, 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 and triplet, and, and triplet and and sorry so that triplet you just say triplet but because it's so condensed into 16th notes it's the length of an eighth note but three three notes within an eighth note beat triplet and triplet and triplet and and that would be that measure okay so now let's count One, it at the tempo two. One, moderato two one two one two one and a two and one and two and one and a two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one two one see even I'm messing up so that is that is uh that third line and this is probably gonna be the toughest line in this entire piece just because of the rhythms and the jumping around different octaves and, and notes. So let's give it a one, try. Two, we'll play it a couple times. One, two, one, two, two one, two. Go. I'm going to go back up to 80 beats and uh, we're going to do the last line. The last line has an F sharp in it, so be careful. Uh, and then the rhythm. One, two E and a one, two and one, two E and a one, two and one. One, two, one. A little faster. Two, one, two, two E and a one, one two, two and one. one. Two e and a one, two and one, two, one now, two, one, 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 two, all right, so now I'm going to play the whole thing um, at 70 beats per minute all the way through. Um, and trying to play it without mistakes, it may happen, it may not. But I'm going to keep on playing. And when you practice this, do it in chunks, get, get that chunk down, and then work on other stuff and continue to build through it. So... One, having my two, going. One, two. Uh, I want you to listen one, and follow along, two, and then um, one, two. If you want to one, practice it with me two, another time, one, uh, you two. Can. So just listen one, the first time, two. Then you can one, rewind it and two, uh, one, play along with me. Two, one, Here we go. two, one, two, two one, one, two, 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 one, two. two, 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 one, two, two One, two, 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 one, two,
tempo that would be considered just fine for your audition. Um, I'm going to do a little faster and see if I can hang in there. I don't know if I will. This is going to be 80 beats per minute. Um, and this would be if you really uh, are practicing a lot and you want to challenge yourself, but this at no, in no way has to be done fast. I want you to remember that um, whenever you're doing an audition, the most important thing is that you play it clean and correct. Speed is never going to be something that I, uh, in an audition, am, am requiring. I'd rather it be clean and, and, and correct versus it being a mess and just like this whirlwind of notes. So, one, two, this is a one, little faster. Two, one, Wish me luck. Two, one, 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 two. Again, I don't expect perfection. What I'm listening for is what can you do well? So keep up the practicing. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm only an email away. Take care.